Hey, welcome to a Tuesday. I hope you're having a good day thus far. About lunchtime. <laughs> I mean, I get up pretty early. Not, not I get up about 8.30, but it takes me about this long to figure out what I want to talk about. And we're going to talk about weather today for sure, um, but it's not much going on. It's pretty flatlined. Today's going to be the warmest day of the week, and then temperatures tomorrow are going to trend down a couple of degrees, and they trend down a little more. And then by the weekend, the hot spots are in the upper 70s. It's a nice week ahead. Fire danger will be manageable. Air quality will be okay. Fog will come back. Not back yet, though. Fog's pretty clear. Okay, so what I want to talk about here is, I'm going to move this out of the way, but Ocean Beach, right? In my mind, the most dangerous beach in the world. I know, and I can't have I can't quantify that other than saying that you got a million people that live within a stone's throw of this place. You've got potentially some of the worst rip currents in the world because of the Golden Gate Bridge, the way the water drains out the bridge. You've got uh, the population, like I said, and then you've got these sandbars that build up and create these nasty rip currents. It's a great surfing beach. It's a horrible swimming beach. And again, I would say, I wouldn't even, the reason people go in the water at Ocean Beach, truthfully, is because they're hanging at the beach, drinking beers, doing whatever, or what do what the kids drink now? Like uh, seltzers or um, ranch coolers, ranch waters. Either way, they wander out. You can, you know, I mean, it's a surfer for 45 years. There people go in the water, bounce to their waist, they get out. Well, that's enough, especially on a day when there's activity in the water, rip currents and, and ocean waves. The bigger the surf like this, the nastier the rip currents. And the rip currents aren't always visible. Sometimes they're under the white water and they're pushing back out. So the ocean beach, don't swim. If you're going to go, mm, don't wait out past your waist and don't do it on a big day. And again, because of the giant number of people who live here, this place attracts people, especially on a good summer offshore wind weekend. This is a Coast Guard crew working on their their uh, surf boat. They work out at the surf boat. They use the surf boat at Ocean Beach. Why? Because it's a gnarly beach. I mean, I, I've, I've literally almost, I, I say almost died a couple times. I don't know what almost dying is like, but I think I, I almost died twice in 45 years. And everybody I know who's surfed at any amount of time has thought the same thing or experienced the same thing. The other thing I would tell you is I'm no hero, but I have saved personally myself four, four people. Two were drowning. They were dead. They didn't die. I got them out. They were both hypothermic. I had a, they were both in the same thing. They'd both been sitting up on the beach and they were drinking Budweiser's. A couple young kids, you know, and they're tw 19, 20. And I'm just surfing out there and I could see watching. You're kind of aware of what's going on. They went in the water to pee and they got sucked out. And I thought, well, they're fine. They're, they're big boys. And before I know it, I look up and they're both just floundering. They're both hypothermic in about 10, 15 minutes. I think the booze doesn't help. So I've, I've done that. And then I pull out another two that were fine. They were just on their way to trouble. But I, everybody I know, which is a lot of guys and women over the years, we've all pulled people out. Um, and not always on, on the brink of death, but so that's just, a, a, this is all before lifeguards, Life, the lifeguards do a great job now, Sean and those guys, but the ocean beach rip currents. Okay. So what's the deal with rip currents, right? Uh, the thing with rip currents is they, this is the standard rip current diagram. Water waves come in, go up the beach, wash back out. They go up the beach and the they come back out at the ocean and they cut a channel, a groove in that area up the middle. That's the groove. And that's the rip current in the rip current where it says escape. That can also be a rip current. If it's a big enough groove and a big enough river that that water will push down the coast. They always say swim parallel, which is fine. I've done that. It works, but rip currents don't always line up perpendicular to the beach. They line up. There's it's, it's not infinite, but it's, Dude, there's, there's some are easy to find, some are not. And I'm an expert at rip currents. I just am. I've been in them. I mean, I, we use them to get out on that day, like that day with the, the ships, the, the ship I showed you bobbing. And the, you, you're not getting out to the surf break unless you find a rip current because it'll, it'll pull you out. And that's what most surfers get pretty good at figuring out where the rip currents are. But do I swim at Ocean Beach? No, I do not. I go to the bathroom at Ocean Beach up to my waist. But I do not swim. I mean, I have, but on like one foot days, but because it's cold, because it's not a good swimming beach. And even I, who is a very, I'm 
I'm good. I was a good swimmer. I did some swimming records when I was a kid. You, you, you can't out, out paddle or out swim a lot of these rip currents, especially on big days. Now, if you have fins or such, you can. So I'm not, I hate to sound like grand, I sound like grandpa right now. Don't turn your back on the ocean, but rip currents are so misunderstood. I mean, they're, they're, they are what they are. They're there. It's the ocean. It's unforgiving. Like, and things go bad fast. Like this rip current here, this is a classic summertime rip current, um, small waves, but there's still a channel and you can see there's actually this area out here tells me it's got a pretty good flow because you're pulling sediments out, right? So the water is going up the beach and pushing out and there's actually pushing sediments out into the water. I've seen a million times where you get, uh, you get feeding frenzies or, or, or almost like a chum line on the sides of these rips where the, the dolphins, the seals, sharks, everything comes in because a lot of times you get a good rip going on a day like this, especially you're pulling off whatever, you know, types of foods, these, these, you know, the seals and such eat. I'm not a huge, super genius when it comes to what sea life eats, but I do know I'm not, you have to be a genius to see the birds and everything just going off on these, on these rip currents. So this guy went out, couple ranch waters, got to go, boom, it's getting sucked out. The green represents the outgoing flow. So Ocean Beach, the most dangerous beach in the world. I said it there. I, I And I've never seen it written down anywhere. And you can throw up an argument on this, but find me a more gnarly beach. Yes, there probably are. West Coast of South Africa, there are, but not close to these a giant population center that is full, <laughs> I'm going to say it, full of tech guys and women and people from the East Coast who have no idea how nasty Ocean Beach can be. And it makes for a really volatile situation. We have more, I think we just had one the other day. So, or, or surfer rescue. A lot of you get a lot of surfer rescued things too. And it's like, I, you, you, surfers don't usually need rescue. Usually it's somebody with a surfboard. Maybe the surfers, having a surfboard and being a surfer are not the same thing. Okay. Let's just put it that way. You can paddle out. But if you don't know how to surf, you're going to get caught in a rip. Anyway, the Golden Gate Bridge has a huge impact on these rips because all the every all the rivers that drain into the delta drain into the bay as the tide goes out. And sometimes we get six foot changes, right? And so the water's coming out and all the sediments in there, and so it creates these sandbars that are pretty pretty aggressive and make it really a hard place to swim. So that's Ocean Beach in a nutshell. I, I may get a little pushback on most dangerous beats, but I still, I'm saying it is. And Sean will agree with me, the head lifeguard out there. So anyway, so there, the little rant. Um, <laughs> to went off on the tech dudes too. They're good. They're good people. All of them are. But they're just like, you got to be respectful, man. It's like going to, it's like going to Alaska and not kind of getting a, having half a clue about a grizzly bear. Ocean Beach is a grizzly bear. Right. If you if you go to Alaska and go, ah, I, I, you know, you not pay attention to the fact that grizzly bears are sneaky, aggressive and whatever. Ocean Beach is sneaky and aggressive and it will take you down. OK, so here is the situation right now. It's going to be a quick weather forecast only because there's just a little fog at the coast. You see a clear slot. We're going to have more um, fog tonight. Later on tonight, you can see it right here along Ocean Beach, kind of trying to reform that fog will be back. And it'll come back in earnest, most likely, as we head into Wednesday. We'll see a little bit more of it tonight. Here's the models. That system goes to the north. Let's see. We're into, okay, yeah, nothing's happening. This is just, this is patterns just holding. You can just look at those lines and go, well, they're, they keep going away and coming back. So I know that map's not helpful other than to say steady as she goes. Here is the uh, live picture of Ocean Beach. The fog is trying to clear out there. Um, you can see the rip currents right there. There's a rip current right there and there's a rip current over here. You could go out there. They're not very clear cut. You can look at this picture all day and the, the rip currents will move around, blah, blah, blah. So that's that. This is this, this is the 24 hour change. I just wanted to show you this because you take a glance. Let's see if I can do this. So there's the change. So see that seven degrees at plus seven it conquered. So it's seven degrees warmer right now in Concord than it was yesterday. So you know today is going to be a warmer day, 24-hour change. It's a good It's a good tool. It's on the National Weather Service page. Look for 20, uh, 24-hour change. It'll give you temperature changes, humidity changes, dew point changes. So there we have it. Hope uh, you got something out of this. Thanks for watching, um, and we'll see you maybe tomorrow. Sometimes I don't do these. Sometimes I do.